So we got to see some examples of students' work who that was that was good. All right, they did a great. They obviously showed they did some effort. They obviously showed that they had researched their person. Okay. But what I want to do now is I want to show you some um, exceptional work. So these are students who kind of took their project to the next level. So if you're the kind of person who like really wants to do the best and be outstanding uh, in your work to do the, the best that you can, these are the kinds of things you might want to strive for. Now, these are just some examples. Okay, so you might think of some other things that you want to try to do. Um, if it's really, really creative or outside the box, make sure you um, run it by your instructor first to make sure that they're going to be okay with it. This first video, he's using a prop. Now, props aren't used a lot um, just because they can, can be kind of a hassle, I suppose. But when you use them well, um, they work really good. So let me play this through and then I'll talk about it just a little bit. To test this, I created a device years ago. It's called an interferometer. And this device is used to measure very, very accurately, very small distances up to hundreds of a nanometer. Uh, but what we'll do is we will use a light source, a sodium light source, to shoot a beam of light through a half silver mirror. And in a perfect static situation, uh, these two beams will split in perpendicular directions and be equidistant apart. Okay, it's a little bit grainy there, and uh, I apologize for the quality of that. Um, I was having a little bit of internet uh, issues, and, and so his, his came across a little bit. And so if you have something similar that's complicated and you want to try to explain it, um, having some kind of a chart or drawing or sketch or something like that is always a really good idea. These next two videos are students who kind of got into character. All right, I think that's all I need to say about it. Let's go ahead and watch what they did. Thank you for meeting with me tonight, Mr. Desiderius. Uh, let's start off, can you tell yeah. us your name and tell us about your project, please? Yes, my name is Marcus Aurelius Desiderius. And the project uh, we were working on back in the year 1644 was measuring the speed of light. I think you can see what he did there. Um, so he was really uh, getting into his character and he was able to hold that and use that uh, great accent, I, I guess kind of an Italian accent uh, of, or something, and uh, throughout his, uh, his whole interview. So here's another student who got in character and uh, she actually dressed up. Tell us your name and the project that you are working on. Indeed. My name is Edward Morley. I was born in Newark, New Jersey in 1883. I, in this experiment, I'm mainly talking about the Michelson Morley experience that we had. And, but I am also very famous for my precise and accurate measurement of the atomic weight of oxygen. In the Michelson Morley experiment, what were you gentlemen attempting to do? The goal was to prove that the ether wind was real. Okay, I've got two more to show you. And um, both of these students came up with really creative ways in which to, well, you'll see. Hello and welcome to Moments in Physics History. Today on our show, we're very fortunate to have a renowned physicist, Ol Romer. Ol, tell us about yourself. Hi, happy to be here. As he said, my name is Ol Romer, and through experimentation and research, I was able to discover the speed of light. Impressive. What were you trying to find in your experiment while you conducted it? When I first started, the goal of the experiment was to find a better way to measure the orbital period of Io. All right. So that was uh, that was kind of fun. All right. So these kinds of things can be a nice surprise uh, for the instructor. OK, because we look at a lot of these and uh, they can get a little dull. Okay, so we appreciate uh, some creativity. Now, let me show you one more creative solution. Well, um, thank you for sitting down with us and having this interview. Um, I would like to ask you a couple questions um, just about, about you and about your um, discoveries. 
Um, so a little bit, um, tell us about your name and about your project. Um, yeah, sure. My name is Robert Wilson. I'm an American astronomer. Um, turns out our project wasn't what we quite anticipated when we were going into it. Um, I'll explain. Um, me and my colleague Arno Penzeus, we were working at the Holmdale Horn Antenna and we were doing some measuring. We were trying to calibrate the system. We were just trying to make sure that everything was leveling out. And we got it all together. We fired it up and found more noise coming out of the antenna than we expected. And it turns out that it was the evidence of the Big Bang as a cosmic microwave background radiation. Oh. So uh, tell us what you were trying to figure out or discover. Well, um, we were working on the Echo Satellite Project. Um, it's basically a giant mylar balloon in orbit. All right, I'm sure you figured it out. So he was being his own interview and the interviewee, okay? And so he uh, filmed that, I guess, in two parts and then had to kind of figure out how to edit it together. Um, so that's always fun, too. So there are some good examples there for you, five really, really top-notch ones for you. Um, you do have some liberty to be creative. Uh, but again, like I said, um, uh, if you're going to be super, super creative, you might want to run it by your instructor and make sure that they're okay with it. All righty.